So hello everyone and welcome to my second episode of my Greyhack tutorial. Hope you enjoy it and it's informative. But in this one today we will be doing this mission right here which is the mission after you connect to the internet basically. And you set up your mail and banking account which I did last episode. Um, so the first thing you need to do is click on the decipher attachment. Then you go up with this button right here. And then you go up until you reach this file folder I guess you could call it and go into your bin folder. Now this is where all the programs are that go into your terminal so just makes it easier for you to use it rather than having to click on it manually. See like this, oops I forgot I'm saving the file but you can just click on this and it'll get the same thing as if you just accessed it through the terminal. As you can see I've already saved it here. Um, so I don't need to do that and I'll show how to get these two right here because these are not standard issue. But to get those we need to go to the shop which I did not show I believe last episode. So what you do is you just go into your browser, go to your shop, search. You have to be careful if you add spacing. If you add a space it will not find anything. And then you go here. So this is for more this, 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 and this are all things that are to do with multiplayer and there's basically no real use for doing so on single player but you can practice I believe on it instead of using the multiplayer but to get us started we want this one and this one. This one here is basically one of the most important tools will ever need but I've already got them so but it's just like the same you just go up here and go into your bin folder and then save them here now these ones are free but as you go along there are things that will cost money like your HDDs processing CPUs and all that I'll cover that in a later episode but so let's get started so we've got their email and we got their name as you can see their last name is also their user that's just a thing that is with Greyhack the last name is always the user for things like this and we have their IP address now so we want to get up terminal now because we have the that nmap tool we just type in nmap and then we paste in the IP and as you can see we've got an open SSH and an open HTTP even, sorry. Um, we won't really need to worry about this as we've got an open SSH port but it's good to know. You can do different things using that if you have the right tools but since we have their mail and their name we are just going to do a bit of Okay, I'm completely blanking. I cannot remember the word. Um, oh dear. Something where you pose to be someone when you're not. And it's to do with emails. I really cannot remember, but... Um, it's that along those principles. Social engineering. I, I think that has something to do with it. Yeah, that has something to do with it. So, we have their name. So, we can just put in... Now for this to work properly you want to use the whole name otherwise it's like they don't work here or anything. So just put the name in and you can sign this off with anything like I hate my job. I quit. And that will not make any difference. Now to get the password we are going to send it to the administrator and to get the administrator's password we do who is and then we copy the IP address again and paste it and there we go so we got the domain name which I still don't know much what to do with but it's useful for something I'm certain of and this is the administrator now this one will Sometimes you can get the administrator as the target victim, which makes it really annoying because you can't do this 
method to get the password. But so now that we've got their email here, we can just copy that and paste and then we send it off. And now we'll get this email giving us our user and our password. So now we don't need this. Now we just need the IP again. And then we just do SSH. And then we go going at the password the password which are lose B okay interesting password and then we do the IP address and if you want you can do the port but for this it's not necessary and now as you see we're connecting and we now the terminal has now changed from just the blank this to this now this indicates we're going through someone else's IP which if we go to the map you can see here we connected here and it almost looks like they're in the ocean hmm. so either there's a tiny island out there or they're in the ocean one way or another that is amusing um, and I'll show you how to what this is useful for later so now that we're here we want to get the credentials of the email address so we just do F and then tab and you can just that's how you auto fill things and then enter and now we have access to their files and we really don't need the mail now do need that but not open so now we have their files we go to their config and we can see there's the mail so we just transfer it over and then we go down to our terminal here and this is where the program we were sent helps so we just do decipher and mail.txt and now it will start deciphering now as you can see there's also a bank.txt which we'll also take but I'll show what to do with that depending how long this has taken because if it's gone over 10 minutes well I don't like going over 10 minutes um, if it's like 15 minutes then I'll show it but otherwise I'll do it in another episode where I show you how to kind of make use of the connection point that we have available and how it relates to the map here for now we'll just complete the mission though so nearly complete and now we need the mail not that one don't need that one anymore now we just need this one so doctor so now all we need to do to complete this mission is click reply and type in doctor and I keep pressing enter instead of sending and now you have we get this email which is an IP address so you don't need this I'll keep this open but I may not use it this episode um, so now we have this IP address now this is what gives you access into the the rest of the game so what we do is we go to our file explorer browser even like file explorer uh, Internet Explorer corrupting everything <laughs> yeah that wasn't really that funny was it um, and we just paste it in now it won't work if you put it in here or if you it's like the same as if you type shop in here it won't work but then you just click enter and then you get to the hack shop now there are three major tabs this one really isn't needed you've got your tools your exploits and the jobs um, I would give a little brief overview and depending how long this has taken do maybe show you how to make much more money than just completing a job it really is much better it is a bit time consuming and tedious though so if you've done it as many times as I have it does get a little boring but so the main things you want are all these you won't have a meta exploit already on your computer but you will have a crypto one available and this is one of the main things but I believe it's not that useful in um, single player 
but this is what you really want. You want these missions basically give you experience and money. Though the only amount I've ever gotten is 200, so it's a little small. But there is like four types here. There's corrupt data, academic changes, credentials needed, and police records. Now over the coming episodes, I'll do at least two to three, depending what they are. Because in the exploits shop, the exploits you need will not always be there. And I believe the shop resets every in-game 24 hours. So basically, once this hits Tuesday 001, this should, the exploits should be refreshed and new ones be there. Um, but yeah, that's how you complete the first mission. Um, now let me just do something a second. And yeah, so this has gone on for about 11 minutes now. I'm sure there's going to be some things I'm going to cut out and stuff. But I hope it was informative and this was helpful to people. Um, although I'm making tutorials, you should still learn this on your own the best you can because well that's how I did it mostly and because it's like how the game is designed ish you pick things up as you go you don't go off the deep end if you don't know something then you just leave it and see if another job contract comes up that may give you an idea on how to do it Basically, what it, my, well, prattling or rattling, I don't know, I, commentary is not my strong suit, um, basically, just, like, refer to these where you get stuck and you have absolutely no clue what on earth to do, but experiment on your own and see what you can figure out by yourself. And hope you enjoyed.